In this video, we will go over the procedures to complete an accounts payable year-end. Before completing any year-end tasks, the first thing we need to do is make sure we have a good, reliable backup of our data. To perform your backup, you would go to Administrative Services, then Database Dump. Select the company you are currently in. You can change where you want your database to be saved here. Next, enter a description of your backup, then click Dump. After completing a backup, we will then create a new year. We would go to Common Services, then Fiscal Calendar. Click on the new icon to create a new year. We recommend that you lock future fiscal periods to prevent anyone accidentally posting to it. Leaving the first period of the new year and the last period of the previous year unlocked so you can post to it. We will also need to create a new year in GL Periodic Processing. The next step is to make sure that all batches have been posted for each transaction type. Using invoice batch list as an example, make sure show posted and deleted batches is not selected. If the screen is blank, this means that you have no batches to post. Now we will print and clear all posting journals like the ones for invoice, payment, and adjustment. Next, we want to make sure that all users are out of AP and purchase order, if active, due to the tight integration of the two modules. To see who is in the system, you can do so by viewing land pack users. This shows all the users logged into Sage 300 ERP and what company they are in. Now is a good time to perform another backup before we begin the year end.
In periodic processing, you can clear history, delete inactive records, or clear statistics. Next, click on Year End. Here you can reset all batch numbers to 1. Doing this removes all transaction histories as well as all drill down capabilities. Clear recurring payable year to date statistics. When you do this, this will reset everything to 0. Clicking on Clear Activity Statistics will move this year's stats to last year's stats and sets year-to-date totals for the new year to zero. It also sets the largest invoice slash balance of the new year to zero. If you select to Clear Activity Statistics, you will have the option to clear invoices paid and days to pay counter. This resets to zero the total invoices paid number of checks, and total dates to pay field in the Vendor Activity Statistics tab that is found in the Vendors form. For the purpose of this video, we will clear Activity Statistics. Next, click Process. When we go to Vendor Statistics, we will see that the next year's statistics are set at zero. This tells us that we have successfully completed our year end.